Drinking overnight. Huh? Who are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Galaxy Opal Paul George and Galaxy Opal Danny Granger. This might be the duo to use in NBA 2K20 My Team Online. What is good, everybody? Henry the Blazing here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I got you guys with yet another dynamic duo that, that I think is not only going to be one of the more popular ones, but one of the more usable ones in NBA 2K20 My Team. Now, you guys do know I appreciate the love that you guys have been showing recently. You showed a ton of love on the Dwayne Wade. You're showing a lot of love on the Hot wife squad builder thank you so much guys we're now less than 9,000 subscribers from 200k so if you haven't subbed already make sure to go ahead and do so and let's also aim for 2,000 likes on today's video but yes today we're gonna be discussing the Danny Granger and Paul George duo and taking them online into a game and in my opinion this might be one of the better duos to use online why do I say that number one Paul George and Danny Granger both stand at 6'9 both have great jumpers both play great defense both are just good cards so you'll actually be able to use them independently if you really want to in game but this boost right here with this dynamic duo really benefits Danny Granger more than anything you can take a look at his driving layup goes up the three point the perimeter defense what I really like about the card though is look at that the plus 10 to the driving dunk plus 9 to the hustle the one thing I did not like about Granger was that he didn't really have a driving dunk and now it's going to be a 95 plus and he also gets Hall of Fame quick draw which I'm hearing from everyone is a nasty jumper then you go to Paul George who's already such a good card in the game only getting more stats now upping the driving layup the draw foul the three-pointer and mid-range the ball handling even the perimeter defense lateral quickness defensive consistency and he gets Hall of Fame pump fake maestro which honestly isn't the craziest thing I will say Danny Granger is definitely the one benefiting more out of this duo than anything and when we go ahead and take a look at Danny Granger's stats they're insane so this Danny Granger does have a diamond shoe on him and contract when I bought him but look at his new stats man 99 on the mid-range in three a 98 driving dunk 90 ball handling 98 perimeter defense 92 speed with ball I believe is from the shoe 95 hustle and lateral quickness the mental game is looking good like stat wise that is insane you guys are already aware of the badges though he now has 40 Hall of Fame including the Hall of Fame quick draw and then when we look at Paul George he also just gets top top on a lot of stuff he starts to look more like a goat card on offense 99 draw foul mid-range three-pointer 95 ball handling 99 perimeter defense 99 lateral quickness and the mental game gets even crazier so both cards I would say are definitely benefiting from this and I really want to see how this duo does online so without further ado boys and girls let's hop into a game and let's see what this dangerous pacer duo is all about let's get into it all right in our matchup today's looking like Steve Francis James Harden Steven Jackson Amari Stoudemire and Bol Bol I got Paul George at the two and Granger at the three but you can switch those up if you want comes down to preference let's get to work boys all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTV gameplay. Today, we're going to be using the duo that actually gave LeBron some trouble in the East. Danny Granger, back when he was a beast, stop, pop, Hall of Fame quick draw, actually looks good on him now. But I really want to test that driving dunk. But what I really like about this duo is that both of them can play the two or the three. Both have insane height at 6'9 and are just hoopy cards. Snatch back. I was open there, but I want to see this dunk all the way on Bobo. Now that's a driving dunk. Oh yeah, this card's definitely a lot better now. Paul George is still Paul George though. So even though he's got a stat boost, he's still going to play the same. AKA, this card was always playing like a beast. It's not like he had any weaknesses from the beginning. He's putting it down. We've got a solid lead here to start. Nice rebound there by Siakam. I'm seeing Granger in transition. Let's see that behind the back. It's not too bad. All the way. Oh, I thought he was going to dunk that again. I'm liking the aggression at the rim though. It's nice. Let's go to Granger. Fun fact, Paul George actually used to be a shooting guard. That's why I decided to put him at the two instead of Granger. Nice hit on that screen. Embiid's rolling. Not putting it down, but we draw the foul and we got some free throws. But uh, off to a good start with both cards. I'm liking the jumper speed now and I'm definitely liking the athleticism way more. Now let's see what else we can do here. Knocking down the second free throw. Let's go. Get on the inbounds. That's a steal. There we go, Granger. All right, let's go to Embiid. He deserves it. He's running. We got to pay the center for hustling. One thing I do hope 2k does in the future is let me use my dynamic duo in freestyle because if you go into freestyle Even if you've got the dynamic duo on your lineup It will not count in freestyle because they're not on the court together as Granger gets a solid block right there I want to see that Hall of Fame quick draw some more hit that screen or oh, are they switching stop pop not a green I was actually late there and the shot's still dropping 
Seven seconds to go here. Granger's got takeover. I got Larry on me. Is that the GOAT version? Doesn't matter. Bang! We're hitting whites right now. I'll take it. In the second quarter here, I'm really just trying to go off with Granger because he's the one that gets the biggest stab boost. Going to the rim there. Beautiful windmill. Let's go. Granger's definitely feeling a lot better. In fact, let me run a pick and roll here. They were a duo. Let me see if I can throw one in alley-oop. Hit that screen. Roll with me. Manute's not stopping you. Nice catch. Yeah, everything's feeling slow. That oop should have been way earlier. Where's Paul George? Wide open. Range extend me, mama. Easy bucket. We're hitting all whites right now. Nothing feels normal in this game. Good defense there by Siakam. Okay, let's push the pace on that. I see Granger in the corner. Pump fake bowl. Will it work? Nope, but we're going all the way. And he's putting it down. Yeah, the dunking. It's nice. Way nicer. Steal that. That's a steal. That's a steal. That's a steal. He's dribbling into my body. Great defense there by Shaq. We got the bench in here with Paul George and Granger. I see Granger in the corner. That's not working out. Give me a screen here so I can run to the top of the key. That did not work out. So close. Wide open. Easy mid-range. Green. That took its time. Oh my goodness. It seems like this guy can't really green any shots either. Once again, even though I got my rested starting lineup in here, everyone is super slow. Go get open today, please. Nice cut there by Bird and putting it down there on Amari. Bait that. Oh, good slap. Steals the ball. Let's go. Paul George, cut right through. Faster, man. Nice dunk. Five seconds to go here. Let's make something amazing happen. Granger, get open. Diver me mama, not a green, but it's a bucket. I literally cannot green with anyone today, but this Granger is hooping. Let's get into the second half. No way that goes down. Nice rebound there by Shaktis. Let's get running here. Granger, you got the driving dunk. Let me see if anyone can get open anywhere. PG for three. Bang! Get there. Good contester by Paul George. Nice rebound. Now let's get running. Granger, I see you. You want to dunk on someone? Go for it. But please move just a bit faster. <laughs> you love to see it, man. Fake that. Nice steal by Paul George. Granger's already running. Coast to coast and putting it down once again. Yes. This right here is the duo that gave LeBron James trouble. Slow down. Granger to Paul George. Oh, that's magic. I'll still take the assist, though. Let's keep it going here. I'm probably going to rest these guys soon, but Granger's been dunking the whole game like nothing's happening. Paul George once again getting open, knocking down the midi. Again, we're not greening very much today, but we're knocking it down. I ended up calling a bunch of timeouts, and it looks like they're going to keep playing. Up until a whistle blows, Paul George, you're going to keep doing your thing with a fancy layup there. Man, this duo was actually super nice. Good defense there by Larry. Somehow that manages to go down, but just under a minute here, and we actually got our bench bench. So Paul George and Granger will get a rest. Rudy in the corner. Got him. He's jumping all the way. Oh, that would have been a nasty dunk. Swing it. Larry for three. Bang. Bait that. Kawhi Leonard is on the court. I'm sorry. You just cannot be throwing any kind of pass anymore, man. Nice rebound there by Paul George. Fourth quarter time. Let's see what Granger and Paul George can do. Hopping into it. Showing hella aggression. And we got some free throws. First one here. It is going down. He's got 33 points now. Six assists. This card is actually hooping. Both of them dropping. Let's keep it rolling. Where are we going here? Oh, Granger in transition. I actually love this card's athletic. Now, his dunk package is nasty. Where are we going here? Uh, catch, swing it to spicy. P wide open. Bang! Pump fake, Paul George wide open. Almost. All right, let me get a screen here. I want to try to jab off. Jab your feet when I jab, man. Thank you. Go to the rim and put it down. Oh, man. How do you blow that? That's so tough. Get that. Good defense there by Spicy P. Let me go right back to him. Paul George has takeover though. So I'm trying to pull for threes. There we go. Stop. Oh, Manu Bowl, you're not keeping up with me. Sorry. Stop. Pop. Green. Bean. Pump fake. Oh, Paul George wide open in takeover. Come on now. You can't be lacking there. Make that. Good. Yo, Paul George is going crazy, bro. This guy said enough is enough. I'm locking up. I'm scoring. I'm doing whatever I want. Give me a screen here, Embiid. Fake it one way. Cross him up. There we go. Stop. Pop. Green. Bean. Good defense by Granger. You know what? Let me reward Granger. Go coast to coast. Show me that new speed. Hopping into it. Nice layup. All right. And as you guys can see, we go ahead and absolutely blow this team out. I actually wasn't even really aware of the score. I was just trying to get hoopy with Granger and Paul George. But we win 91 to 47. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score. And let's see how the boys did. All right. So as you guys can see, man, Granger and Paul George absolutely dominating. Both combined for 71 total points. And Granger honestly impressed me a lot. Like, Paul George, he got a stat line, but I'm not surprised because this is things he does on a daily basis. I will say, though, five steals and three steals, that's actually really nice. They combined for eight steals right there. Now, Granger was four for nine from three, but again, nothing I am worried about because that was the very first time I was using Hall of Fame Quick Draw. And if you have ever have used a Granger card, 
this year, you know his jumper is not known to be bad. So the fact that I was missing it should not make you question anything. You will likely green with it. I just had an off game. And again, I've never actually used the Hall of Fame quick draw because it doesn't happen unless you're in game using the dynamic duo. But Granger all around was insane. One thing to note is that he did not miss a single shot inside the three point line. 15 for 20. The five missed shots were three pointers. So that's very insane. Had seven very nice dunks. His athleticism might be my favorite thing about this card. Like again, this is definitely a duo you can run online and they'll be able to do damage because both of them are 6'9". Both can play point guard or sorry, both can play shooting guard or small forward. Both have very solid defense and an insane jumper for both of them and they can attack the rim. There's really no weaknesses to using both these cards. Now some people will say Danny Granger doesn't have Hall of Fame handles for days and you don't have to use Granger like that. That's what you have Paul George there for. If Granger's open or slashes to the basket with Hall of Fame quick first step, you know he is now going to be catching a body with his new and improved stats. So yeah, Granger, he definitely benefited more than Paul George did. But again, it's not like Paul George ever had any flaws in the first place. This card was always a bucket. One of the best jumpers in the game. Insane dunking, insane defense, insane dribbles. No weakness at the shooting guard or small forward. But I definitely like Paul George at the shooting guard position better. Granger definitely feels more like a three than a two. But again, it's your guys' preferences. They're still going to play the same nonetheless. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this duo video. An absolute dub of a duo. Might be one of the most impactful ones right next to the Dwayne Wade and Shaquille O'Neal one. But uh, with that being said, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the Blazing Nation. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day and take care.